Fundamentals of Surveying Question and Answer Review. Question 16. A traverse was surveyed using a series of deflection angles. What is the balanced deflection angle of 3-4? I love this question because how often do land surveyors use deflection angles? Never. Not since a long time ago. But that is still a tested subject on both the FS and PS exams. So we've got to kind of use a piece of our knowledge that is more theoretical than practical, more book knowledge than survey knowledge. But that's what the FS test, book knowledge. So let's solve the problem and see what we get. To begin with, let's look at our answer choices. 645200, 1150700, 6451000, and 1150900. To begin with, let's remember that we're simply going to adjust this angle 34. And that angle from our initial data is 1150800. So I bet you five bucks we can eliminate the 6452 and we can eliminate the 6451. Why? because those guys look more like interior angles than deflection angles. So I'm going to cross out A and C right off the bat. Loving this video? Hit the subscribe button below. Be sure to click the bell next to it to get the latest prep videos before anybody else. Many of us may not even know what a deflection angle is because we don't use them very often. A deflection angle is collected by measuring the angle between an extension of the preceding line and the new line. So those dashes, those projections, all the way extending past our point, that is our deflection line. And the deflection angle is measured from the extension of the deflection line to the next point. So A, B down to B. B, C extension connected to D. CD extension connected to DE. Another important thing to note is this deflection angle right or left. And that is a very, very big deal because here's what's going to have to happen. We're going to have to convert every deflection angle from deflection to interior. Then balance the interior angles. And last but not least, convert back to deflection angle, at least for line 3-4. That's going to take some time, but I'm pretty certain we can do it. Step one is to convert from deflection angles to interior angles. So we start off, and let's go back to our numbers here, and let's see. So 1-2 is going to be 244-20-0-0. How do we do that? Well, we're going to have to either subtract 180 minus or subtract the angle minus 180. Here, this is a left angle. So left angles, we go 244, 20, 0, 0, minus 180. That's 64, 20, 0, 0. Next, 26, 33, 0, 0. That means it's a left angle. So 26, 33, 0, 0, minus 180 is 206, 33, 0, 0. Next, 115.0800, that is to the right. 180 minus 115.0800 equals 64 degrees, 52 minutes, and zero seconds. Next, 180 degrees minus 83, 21, zero, zero, equals 96 degrees, 39 minutes, and zero seconds. And last but not least, this is a left angle. So 287, 31, zero, zero, minus 180 is 107, 31, zero, zero. So we have five different interior angles. 64, 20, 0, 0, 206, 33, 0, 0, 64, 52, 0, 0, 96, 39, 0, 0, 
and 107.31.00. Add those guys up. What do you get? Well, what is the theoretical sum of the interior angles? N minus 2 times 180. N minus 2 times 180, so 3 times 180 is 540. I add up my interior angles, and what do I get? Let's do it. I bet that they're going to be what? Too short or too big? They're going to be too short. Next is to calculate the actual sum of our interior angles. So let's add up all of those angles, 6420 plus 20633 plus 6452 plus 9639 plus 10731. That adds up to 53955. And last, our third step is to distribute that five minutes of air to all five of our traverse points. So if we're too short by five minutes and we have five angles, we're going to add one minute to every angle. All right, let's do that. Let's just take all of our numbers here and let's add one minute to each one. Once we've done that, our interior angles equal a perfect 540 degrees. Last but not least, we need to take our line 3-4, which currently is 64 degrees and 53 minutes, and convert that back to deflection angle. How do we do that? The exact same way we did it before. This was an angle to the right, and because of that, our formula was interior angle equals 180 minus deflection angle. So how do we get that back? We've got to rearrange a little bit, and we'll end up going ahead and saying that 180 minus interior angle, so 180 minus 64, 53, 00, equals 115 degrees, seven minutes, and zero seconds. Okay, so answer choice B is the correct answer. Would you like more content? I would love if you would join us for a complete Fundamentals of Surveying review course. This guy has slides, videos, practice questions, handouts, everything you need to pass this exam on the first try. It's got the same number of questions and the same question types on its full-length practice exam, and it is built to get you from zero to SIT licensee as quickly as possible. Join me at nlcprep.com fs.